Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Pickle Designs. Today I have a video for you making some really cheap but really super fun trendy necklaces here using this super cheap uh, $6.99 Amazon bead mix. If that sounds good to you, then just keep on watching. All right, so these are super cheap, but I thought it would be a fun video just in case you um, wanted to have a craft weekend with your nieces or nephews or kids or whoever. Um, this is a super cheap bead mix and I got from Amazon and I'll link it down below in case you like it, but they are all plastic beads. Um, so let's just really just have fun with it and make some whimsical jewelry. So this is what we're getting. It says we got 120 pieces. Look how fun that is. What I really like are some of these bubble beads here. Oh, they're super lightweight and they're just, and it's just fun. I mean, they don't look expensive at all, but that's really not the vibe we're going for. We're going for that candy, um, plasticky, bubbly vibe. And I think this kind of nails it. So let me go ahead and get an idea going and uh, let's get started. So the first necklace I want to do is make a necklace with five spread out dangles and they're just going to be super short dangles it's just going to be the beads itself so i kind of came up with these here and what i'm going to use actually for this necklace just to kind of modernize it a little bit i'm going to use all gunmetal uh findings so let's go ahead and just put these on a head pin and make simple loops out of these okay and you can make your loops pretty big Now that we got our five dangles done here, I'm gonna start out with some soft flex and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a small amount, just enough to go around my neck. Um, I kinda want this to be a choker style for me personally. Um, so I'm gonna just start from the middle and I, since I have three of these peach beads, I'll go ahead and put one of the, the peach butterflies in the middle. And from here, I'm just going to make sure that I space out these butterflies uh, pretty evenly, but I'm just going to come up with a pattern with the rest of my beads here that I think looks good. And uh, then we'll get crimping. All right, so this is what I came up with. This is what I like. I just, um, just strung however I liked the look of the design here. And uh, I really tried to just make sure I didn't have any duplicates. And so what we're gonna do is, I've already bead bugged off one side here. And I'm just going to, I have a um, little crimp bead here. And I'm just gonna make a tiny little loop We'll attach everything else with jump rings later. And I'm just going to crimp at the end um, so that I have some room for the other side. So we got our crimp bead on here. And I'm just gonna feed this excess back into the bead. And feed all the beads back down. Okay, now I'm at the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. And now we have our necklace portion, as you can see. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the crimp cover on. I see that I do have a little bit of excess wire right here. I'm just going to cut that off. All right. Next thing we're going to do is add a closure and some extension extender chain. I'm going to get those and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so for the setup here, I'm actually gonna use three extender chains because I want there to be a little bit of chain in the back. So what I'm gonna do is just attach the extender chain on both sides with a jump ring. And I chose this chunky junk, uh, jump ring just because I like the way it looks. Here's one. We'll do two. And then on one of the sides, we're gonna add an extra jump ring with an extender chain here. Another extender chain. Okay, that chain is a little wonky on this one, so I'm gonna cut this link off. You see that? It's a little odd. So we'll take that off. So now we have our double extender on one side. And on the other side that doesn't have the double extender, we're gonna take another smaller jump ring, open that up, and ex just put on the lobster. And then for the final touch here, I just made another simple loop charm and I'm gonna add that to the end of the extension chain. Right there. And so when it's actually clasped, you can use the big jump ring that's in the middle of the two extenders on the one side, like this. That's how the closure will work. Okay, so for this next one, it's really not gonna be any rhyme or reason to it. Um, there's some big old chunky beads that I really wanna use on this one. I think I'm gonna put this one in the middle because like, I don't even know what that is. I guess it's like a bouquet of flowers. I don't know, but it shines a lot. So we're gonna put that guy in the middle and then we're just gonna make a super chunky necklace. Alright, so I got my pattern that I liked, and really it was just super random, and using, I really like these little bead cone caps, I think that adds a lot of really cool detailing to it, um, so I'm just, I'm not going to bore you with me finishing up these necklaces, but I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you the finished product. Alright, so here's the finished product of the second necklace. So now that you get the idea, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of these beads and show you how many uh, necklaces you can make with this kit, uh, just in case you want to hold a bead party or something. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so here's what I came up with. We already saw these two on the right here. And then I tr actually tried to make one that was more symmetrical and I really love this one. I think I'm actually gonna keep this one. I love it so much, um, especially with these big old giant green beads down here. Um, but yeah, I tried to make that one a little bit symmetrical and then I still had so many beads left over and I was getting bored of doing the simple stringing. So I just did kind of like a charm necklace here and I just made all these chunky little dangles. If you can see, I'll bring it up here. I just made dangles with the beads that we had and I just put it on some chain and we had tons of dangles here and it's super lightweight and super fun and noisy. And then for the, our leftover beads here, I still have some big, uh, some pendants that I made here that I was gonna put on the necklace, but I feel like it was a little too much. And then a bunch of these bubble beads down over here. So that's what I made with the $6.99 Amazon bead kit, bead pack. And I think it would be a perfect little fun thing to do with some people in your life. It's a no stress beating. Um, you know, when you're stressed in life and really don't want to think about anything, you can do some cool little stuff like this to get those creative juices flowing. Um, so I will leave a link down below in the description if you want to pick up this bead mix. It is an affiliate link. Um, 
just full disclosure. So any of those links down there that I have for products, it's an affiliate link. And that's just to help out the channel a little bit. So whatever I make from the links down there will be put back into the channel. Um, so what did you think? What about these youthful uh, items I have on the table here? Let me know which one you loved. Let me know which one you hated. And I hope you're staying safe and well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.